Hello, hello. Hello, Crisia. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. And Miss, you? I am doing good. Very happy to be here. Miss Wendy, very elegant. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, in, hello. In the, gra the graduation. In the graduation. <laughs> <laughs> Nada, que vengo del trabajo. Eh? Oh, my goodness, uh, really? Ah, sí. un rato. Hace un rato, chico. Ah, yes. Hello, sí. Bane. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you doing with the rain? Is thunder it... is thunder. Uh -huh. is... Thunders. Thunders, brother. Many thunders. Yes. Yeah, so and, and there was a lot of problem with the electricity. Yes. Yes. My son is scary. I was scared. Yeah, my, my kid too. Yeah, there, there was one like around seven that was very hard. I was serving dinner and I was like, ah, my goodness, what's going on? I said, yes. it's the end yes. of the world. I said, like, Senor, I didn't confess. I said, please, please. I was like, oh. apologies, apologies. <laughs> yeah. And I, I said, ay, que estaré pagando. I said, ay, ya me acordé. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm going to send a message to your friends that we are here. They are in vacations already. <laughs> it, it, it's sick. And they are sick. Like, ah, ah, teacher, ah, ah, I didn't come to class because I was sick. You said, ah, come on, come on. <laughs> no, people, we need to be very careful with this thing of the pandemic because now there are a lot of cases of COVID. We need to be very careful. If you go out, I mean, wear the mask, be protected, uh, use alcohol a lot on the hands, okay? Mm. So on your hands. Yes. <laughs> Like, yes. yeah, it's like I am using alcohol on the inside. No, two, so, uh, uh, two, a double, protection. Double, double protection for <laughs> okay. No, it's so like my recommendation tequila, tequila and alcohol, yeah, on the inside, on the out, and on the outside. Okay, good. So, no, but my recommendation is that you protect from, from COVID. I mean, that's it's very necessary. Well, yeah, traenos agua todos, por favor. Okay, so today we are going to be working on the last presentations, right? And I am going to take some notes about the mistakes. Hello, Jocelyn, very elegant for the graduation as well. Yes, hello, teacher. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that, that got ready for this one. <laughs> It's like I need a, a night dress, you said, for the graduation. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine you saying at home, it's like, no, es que va a haber un baile allá en multi. Allá va a estar teacher Murphy. And at three in the morning, you arrive into your house. Like, Hasta ahorita se acabó la fiesta, vas a creer. <laughs> <laughs> chilling there in, in multi okay so I am going to be taking notes about uh, the different words that you mentioned and if you mention something for example in the incorrect way I am going to mark it and then I am going to um, reinforce it later on for sure the main idea of this is that you can share your presentations in the best way possible right that you share the details about what you have been learning what you have been doing and for sure to wrap up this class in the best way possible okay let me see uh someone says no, no hay luz en mi casa <laughs> ah, Pero hay internet. Ah, yeah, no yeah, se yeah. Paga el router. who says daniel ah it's daniel 
Hey, Daniel, come on. We are <laughs> we are reading your message. Poor Daniel, I mean, he, he had a lot of difficulties. Okay, so we're going to wait for the next ones. Ivan, we're missing Ivan, we're missing Paola, Claudia. We are mm -hmm. missing... Who else, my dear students? Ajá. ¿Quién no falta, chicas? A ver, vamos a ver. Ruth, we are missing Ruth. Who else? Let me see. And, uy, a big dog. You have a little a little dog there. Okay. So we're going to go. Oh, Crisia is here. Paola is missing. Paola Claudita. Mr. Daniel, Mr. Ivan. And I think we're done. Okay, I sent a message there in the group for everybody. You see, there's a picture here. Claudita. Uy, what happened with Claudita? <laughs> and everybody's like, uy, se me ha quedado en blanco. Reinicio la lengua. <laughs> Restart it to select. Poor Claudita, it's fighting with the computer. Well, so my dear students, we are going to start with the presentations. And for sure, uh, I need you to take your time and to do it in the best way possible. I am going to write one number from one to 15 on my board. And what I need you to do is to tell me the number. If you can, uh, guess the number, you are going to choose the first person that is going to pass, okay? Grisia, give me one number from 1 to 15. 10. No. Wendy, give me one number from 1 to 15. From 1 to 15, one number. Mm, 7. <gasps> It is number seven. Good. Okay. So, Wendy, <laughs> me choose the person that is going to start. Wendy va a ser quien escoja quien comience. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who is going to be no the sé. first one? Oh lo my siento, God. Lo siento, we, lo siento. Uh, we have so Jocelyn. many students. Jocelyn, Jocelyn. go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. And then Jocelyn is going to say Wendy. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Sorry, but your English is nice. It's perfect. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Go ahead, Jocelyn. The stage can, is yours. Can I put a presentation? Yes, for sure. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. We will start. Okay. Good evening, my classmates. In this moment, I'm going to talk about my learning. I'm going to start uh, talking about um, what I learned. Well, uh, I learned all about simple present. Uh, how to use regular and irregular verbs. Uh, for example, uh, in first and second person, uh, we use have. In third person, we use has. Uh, uh, the same for, for question. Uh, she, he, and it, we use do. I'm sorry, we use does. And if you we they, we use do. Do you eat breakfast? that she eat breakfast. With WX question uh, is similar, is ask, uh, 
with first person and second and third person. What do you do? Where does you work? Also, I learned how to form a question using the simple person. I learned two different vocabulary about placing house and apartments and furniture and other household, uh, different jobs. Uh, I learned how to spread the food that I like and dislike, popular sport and another thing. Today, I can use uh, can and can't. For example, I can dance, but I can't sing. Well, uh, about I like the chi teacher, obviously. Uh, you are a great teacher. Thank you for all. My classmates, because are very respectful. Uh, the class is very exciting and dynamic. Uh, in a few words, was a good experience. Uh, I would like to reinforce uh, some vocabulary and grammar because something, sometimes I forget it. Uh, speaking and listening. Uh, my expectation for the next model. Uh, I want to know more vocabulary. I want to speak more in English. And about my, my class, I hope uh, it's very interesting. Okay, uh, it's my fi final presentation. And thank you for your attention. Barbara! I am not going to say anything. Just <laughs> off my camera. Hey, very, very good job. Thank you very Thank much, you, Jocelyn. No, thanks to you. Oh my God, what a fantastic presentation. I just have a couple of things that we need to practice about pronunciation. For example, the word furniture. 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 Jobs. Jobs. Experience. Experience. Rainforce. Rainforce. Vocabulary. 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 And vocabulary is V O C A B, right? B of donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> U L A R Y. And module. Module. M O D U L E. Module. It was okay. a very you, beautiful teacher. presentation. Very nice. Very nice job. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you for your presentation. That was very nice. Jocelyn, who is the next one? Hi, el desquite, Wendy. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I never imagined. I never imagined. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate you. Hey, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 just, I saw it coming, sorry. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I am kidding, baby. I am kidding. Hello, uh, Mr. Ivan. <laughs> hey, Ivan is here. Hello, teacher. Very elegant. Another one that was very elegant for the graduation. My God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, very good. Wendy, the stage is yours. Go hey, ahead. teacher. But my presentation is different. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. O sea, la presentación para mí era... No, it's okay. Mí, right? okay. it's okay. It's okay. The presentation, it's, it's, I told you, if you want to do it in, in a presentation, that's okay. If you want to hey, speak. Hey, Jocelyn, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn is, is like in these cases that you go to school and you say like, I am not really prepared. I didn't bring anything. And so, boom, <laughs> maqueta. <laughs> no, the, uh, very easy, not, not complicated. <laughs> Nothing complicated. It's just something simple. Yeah. No, but it's very good. It's very admirable, Justin. Very good. Yes. yes. Go ahead, Gwendy. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> nice, nice. But, okay, it is very short. My presentation is, is uh, only for me. Go ahead. Good, good evening, everyone. My name is Wendy Ramirez. 
I am uh, 41 uh, years old. And my profession is accountant. Uh, I have a husband and a son. Uh, with my son, we like to cook and discover new flavors in the kitchen. I have a very little free time from my work. Uh, I like to cook and dance and commands. And in my times, you know, in times of pandemics, I uh, learn uh, cook cakes and, and, and others food types. Um, I want to learn speak English. Uh, I work in political party and I love the political. Uh, I would like to travel to Dubai or Ireland. And I love Mexican culture. I believe in God, but I am not a religious person. I am happy to meet you and hope to see you in the, the next model. For module. sure. Module, very good. Okay, Wendy, I have a couple of questions for you. What was the most significant topic for you? I'm not understand, repeat slowly, please. What was the most, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> huh? What was the most significant topic from this module for you? Mm. Uh, the, el, el, the use, el uso. The use, uh -huh. The use, uh, da, do and does. Mm -hmm. And el can y el can't. Okay. Um, in, in my opinion, it's... Um, Fue, fue, no sé cómo se dice. It, it was. It was re, reforced. Yo lo reforcé, o sea. I reinforced it. I reinforced in my, in my, um, en, mi, en mi léxico, o sea, digamos, lo reforcé, pues, o sea, ya, ya lo manejaba, pero lo reforcé. And the furniture, mm -hmm. uh, learn many, many vocabularies. Mm -hmm. Vocabulary, ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, vocabulary mm, that's, that's okay it. and the second question is what are your expectations for the next module uh, my expectation is um, learn to more vocabulary mm -hmm. but I am understand and listen it. It's very easy for me, but okay. not express. Okay, but you are very good at speaking. So to reinforce speaking and vocabulary. Yes. Good. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much, Wendy, okay. for your presentation. You see, it was very good as well. Very <laughs> nice job. Who is the next one, Wendy? Uh, Reactions for Wendy. Okay, yeah. ya no habrá return. Okay. <laughs> no payback. Yes, yes. Adela. Adela, go ahead. Action. The stage is yours, Adela. Thank you, Wendy. Qué mala. <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is Adela. Um, the topic that I like the most about the modular are um, transporting vocabulary. Uh -huh. Transportation. Uh, transportation vocabulary, um, vocabulary house and department. Mm -hmm. um, I am take the book, for example, I am take the books. Uh, I, live, I don't live in house. I am live in an apartment. My apartment is small. Um, oh, otro? Another one. Another topic is job vocabulary. Mm -hmm. um, 
and job vocabulary is activity. Um, a sample in a teacher in the school. Activity is a teacher fashion English. Mm -hmm. um, I like this module, um, the participation uh, and creativity. Um, um, my expectation for the next module is learn more vocabulary, um, practice, practice, um, practice. Practice uh, speaking English. Um, finish. <laughs> okay, very good job, right? To speak more and to practice your English. Very good job, Adela. Continue practicing. You see, at the beginning of the module, you were like, no, que me da pena, que es que hablamos bien poquito. And now, you see, you are getting more confidence and everything, and you are speaking more. That's something that I really like. Congratulations, Adela. Continue practicing. That's the best thing. And uh, things that we need to improve, for example, the, the pronunciation of the word name. And you name. close your mouth, say name. Name. Right? Name. If not, you say my name is, right? Say my name. That's good. My name. Okay. And when you say I am live in apartment, you cannot say I am live because you use two verbs. You say I live in an apartment. Okay. And I am take the class. You say I take the class. Only one verb. Okay. And the pronunciation of module. Module. It's for everybody. Module. 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 Okay. Very good job. Thank you, Adela. Who is the next one? Ivan? Ivan, go ahead. Mr. Ivan, the stage is yours. Can I read my presentation? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Can I read it? Yes, go ahead, don't worry. Okay. Um, I'm very happy in this level. I feel fortunate for the opportunity that Corporate English offers me and to be part of this great project. I'm learning many things. One of those things is to lose the fear of speak English. I'm learning new vocabulary and very important techniques for speaking and writing. My ear is developing better skills to understand the language. This is the reason what I would like to the next level to have more dialogue activities, interpreting the language and demands to have a greater vocabulary. That's all. Thank you, Ivan. What a beautiful message. Yes, for sure. Uh, practicing speaking is very important. You have a lot of knowledge, Ivan, and you have a very good pronunciation. If you continue practicing, you. for sure, the English is going to become easier and easier for you every single time. Thank you, Ivan, for your nice words and reactions for Ivan. Come on, very nice job. And who is going to be the next one, Mr. Ivan? Um, Jocelyn? Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn already passed. <laughs> Again. Uh <-huh. laughs> Uh -huh. We are missing Vanessa, Crisia, um, Claudia. Crisia, Crisia. Crisia, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening for all. And what was we learned? I learned about the simple present tense. I stay clearer how to use the verbs with each of the subject pronouns. What was what I liked the most? I like that I learned more vocabulary in English, for example, fruits, vegetables, parts of the house, family members, 
about the different food, jobs, talents, ability, profession, occupation, etc. What I have to learn more? I think that more, that more words, more vocabulary, vocabulary that I miss a lot to learn. And what expectation do, you have, do I have for the other mo module? That is just as, that is just as beautiful and that you learn as much as in this module. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for all. Thank you very much. Hey, very nice presentation. Excellent. Thank you, Crisia. Thank you very much. Thank you for your nice words. And who is going to be the next one? Vanessa. Vanessa, go ahead. <laughs> Really? No, Vanessa. Uh -huh. es, que, es que no me pude conectar la semana pasada. No, right now you are talking about the things that we did in the module, the different topics, what topic did you like the most, eh, what things did you learn, que aprendimos, que temas eh, estudiamos, mm. ¿Qué es lo que quieres para el siguiente módulo? Right? It's a, a mini presentation. But you can just express it. Don't worry. Go ahead. Try to do your best. Okay? Aquí no hay correctos e incorrectos. Aquí todos estamos aprendiendo. Go ahead. Try to do it. Try to do it. about the topics that you remember, right? We learn about what? What do you remember that we learn from this module? En estos 16 días que hemos estado juntas, what have you learned? What do you remember? ¿Qué tema recuerdas? Well, the vocabulary food, mm -hmm. vegetable. Uh -huh. mm. In apartment, uh -huh. in a house, um, deport, sports, sports, uh -huh. sports. Sport. Lo único que, que no, no, no mucho entiendo es el do. Uh -huh. and do and does. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Todavía no se me queda muy bien. Okay, so that is something that you need to reinforce. Uh -huh. You need to reinforce that one. What else? What else do you remember? Try to remember. What I, do you, uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, continue, continue. What, what do you want to learn in the next module? How do you say aprender? I, I want to learn. I want to learn English. Okay, more English. English. <laughs> okay, more, more speaking. Good. More speaking. What else? I learn listen to English. Listening. <laughs> uh -huh. To listen to more things in English. Good. What else? <laughs> okay, a... more more listening, more vocabulary, more speaking, and for sure, a lot of practice, right? A lot of practice is going to help you for the next module. You will see that it's going to be beneficial for you. Thank you, Vanessa. Continue improving, you see? Que no te, que no te de pena, okay? Si de repente no entendiste algo, pregunte. It's okay, it's okay, and that's why we are here. You have a very good group of friends that can help you, okay? Aquí sé que todos están dispuestos a echarte la mano en cualquier cosa que necesites. Aquí estamos todos para servirte. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. And for sure, who is the next one? Ah, Claudia. <laughs> Go ahead, Claudita. Hello, teacher. 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 Hello, teacher.
Thank you. Hello, Claudita. Hello. Good, good night. Um, <laughs> well, I talk about the, the learn in the module two <coughs> is the different topic and the food, um, the use to do that, the question, the W WH question, uh -huh. and the the different um, answers, the, the question, um, the different parts to the house or apartment, um, the, the use to this, there, there is, there are. There is, there are. Uh -huh. um, well, <laughs> And the the sports, the the job and occupation. Good. Um. So. Uh, the abilities, uh -huh. the skill, the skill and ability, and the different person. Good. Um. My. I was the, the next module is a uh, learn speak uh, the vocabulary and pronunciation different uh, words and practice. And practice more, right? For sure, it is very important, right? The more you practice, the more you are going to learn. Remember something that we need to work on when you say hello, you say good evening, good evening. Good night is when I send you back to bed, okay? Ya cuando yo la despido en la noche, les digo, okay. Uh, good night, have a very good night because I know that you are going to sleep, okay? I hope that you go to sleep, right? When I finish the classes. And when you say, when you enter, you say, good evening, okay? So I am going to share the last uh, screen with all of you for sure, right? And let me share, let me share my screen. Thank you, girls. Well, it is my time to say my speech, right? I really like this module. I learned a lot of things with you. And the, the thing that I liked the most was uh, to have a very small group because it was very personalized. The practices were very nice. I had the opportunity to practice a lot of vocabulary and things and conversations and everything with you. That's something that I really like it. I really want you to continue focusing on uh, pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, continue working on those things because they're going to be very important for the next modules. And uh, for sure, my favorite student was everybody. <laughs> he was like, ah! no, I really love each of you because you are very dedicated. You are very dedicated to learn uh, English and you are very dedicated to be here every single night with me. So I think this is very admirable. Continue doing the great job that you do. I am going to share my final screen, right? This is class number 16. <laughs> this is not actually a class, but it's going to be some tips that I want to leave you here for you to share, right? I am going to share the agreements for the last time. Practice your English as much as possible. Remember to ask for help on the next module with the next teacher, okay? Keep your cameras all the time. En el siguiente módulo, sigan así como están. Que se vean siempre que están trabajando, que sus cámaras siempre estén encendidas, que estén atentos a la clase, atiendan todas sus sesiones, participen todo lo que puedan. Keep being cooperative and for sure, keep collaborating with your friends on the WhatsApp group. I really want to close this final uh, session with some tips to continue learning English. Why? Because 
practice is the only thing that it's going to make perfection possible, okay? Because for sure, uh, if you continue learning, if you continue practicing, you are going to continue improving, okay? My dear students, let me see. I have it right here. Let me see, where did I place it? I think I made a mistake. Here it is, there we go. So I wanted to share a little reading with you and then I am going to share some tips. So learning English. I need you to see the paragraph, please. I need you to see the paragraph and I need you to look for new words or new vocabulary, okay? Ahorita vamos a ver el párrafo y si hay alguna palabra nueva que no conozcan, me dicen, teacher, what is the meaning of? And ask me the question. Check on the paragraph and if you have a new word or new vocabulary, you tell me, teacher, what is the meaning of this? Okay, I think you have a pencil as well. Okay, ahí le salió un lapicito a ustedes también. Pueden marcarla, right? You can mark it if you want. So you can actually participate with me. Uh -huh. I'm going to give you some minutes for you to read the paragraph. Good, very good, excellent. Mark it, mark it. Mark the new words or the new vocabulary. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute for you to analyze the paragraph. Good, good. It's okay, Vanessa, don't worry. Or if you cannot mark it, you can open your microphone and say, teacher, what's the meaning of this, okay? Yeah. Okay, y si alguien no la puede marcar, me la dice y la marco yo por ustedes. Teacher, uh, la palabra, the, the word alone, alone, alone. Um, turn of the radio and sing alone. Ah, okay. Okay, I am going to explain you that in a second. And in this one, I think it was, it was Claudia, right? Which was importantly or memorizing or difficult or the three of them. No sé quién marcó esta. What was the word? Okay, so I think it was memorizing and difficult. Okay, sooner, good. So I am going to go and mark the ones that I have here. Seem, parecer. It can seem difficult at first, right? Learning English can seem difficult at first. It can seem difficult. Puede parecer difícil. Uh, but most importantly, it's like, it says, it takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, 
It takes a lot of practice. Pero lo más importante, pero más importante que todo, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time, spend time is eh, gasta tiempo, pasa tiempo, spend time memorizing words, like memorizing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, memorizing words out of books, out of is de los libros. And let me see, however, right, until you make the language useful, útil. The meaning of useful is útil. Useful to yourself, it will never become part of you, right? Doing all those other things are okay as long as you are also spending. Spending, I uh, explain you here, right? Es pasando eh, tiempo, right? Pasan, eh, pasar tiempo, speaking the language and trying to communicate. Trying to communicate is what we always do when we speak, right? We are trying to communicate with others. When you use the words or phrases, you have learned to communicate with others, con otros, right? Con otros. The language becomes, se convierte en. The language becomes, becomes is convertirse, right? The language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear. You are able to hear. Tienes la capacidad. Okay. Puedes. You are able to hear. How English speakers answer you. So you will know the language sounds when it is spoken. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can. To listen to as much of it as you can. Escuchar todo lo que podamos acerca del idioma. Songs, videos, articles, listenings, uh, pronunciations, readings, books, everything. Listening to everything in English. Being spoken by a native speaker. So like being spoken by a native speaker is like que te hable un nativo. Being spoken by a native speaker, turn on the radio, turn on the radio and sing along, right? Imagine that you see the songs in the karaoke and you are like, dan, 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 along with the song, right? Seguir el ritmo al compás de la canción o al mismo tiempo que la canción. Or watch television shows eh, that are spoken in English and try to follow along, right? To follow the show, to understand what it's going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, right? Immerse is like entre más te metas en el idioma. The more you immerse in the language, the sooner you can start effective communications with other English speakers, right? That is, how learning English works, right? I am going to read it for you and then all of us are going to read, okay? De ahí vamos a leer todos, todos van a leer un pedacito. Listen to the pronunciation and it says, learning English can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time memorizing words out of books. Some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you make the language useful to yourself, it will never become part of you. Doing all those things are okay as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate with others. When you use the words and phrases you have learned to communicate with others, the language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to hear how English speakers answer you, so you will know the language sounds when it is spoken. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it 
as you can being spoken by native by native English speakers. Turn on the radio and sing along to songs in English or watch television shows that are spoken in English and try to follow along and understand what is going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. Okay, Wendy, you are going to read the first paragraph. Ahí les fui marcando hasta dónde va a parar el párrafo que van a ir leyendo. El primero va a ser Wendy, el segundo va a ser Crisia, el tercero va a ser Iván, el cuarto va a ser Vanessa, el quinto. Cuarto, donde dice learn. Ajá, hasta de when, desde, desde when hasta donde dice learn. El siguiente va a ser de Claudia. Claudia, the next one. The okay. next one is Jocelyn. The next one is Adela. And let me see. I think we are done. And the last one is going to be random. <laughs> okay, Wendy, go ahead. Okay. Sir, uh, excuse me, teacher. ¿Me puede mandarme la imagen por WhatsApp? Es que la pantalla me ha quedado en blanco, por favor. Okay, right now. I am going to do it right now. Tienen tiempo todavía para practicar. <laughs> uh, you, you have practiced this before, right? Huh? Ya lo habían hecho antes. Adela le va a decir que se la mande para que podamos practicar. Say, there you go. There you go. Okay. Who's the first one? Wendy. Number two? Crisia. <laughs> Crisia. Number three? Iván. Number four. Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa is number four. Number what? five. Me. <laughs> no, number me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then number six. <laughs> number seven. Random. Claudia, Claudia. <laughs> and number eight, the teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Wendy, you start. Learning English can seem, can seem difficult at first. It takes a lot of dedication and discipline to learn a new language. Continue. But most importantly, it takes a lot of practice. Many people spend time memorizing words of, out of books. Some even write words and sentences on paper. However, until you, ma you make the language useful to yourself, it will never become a part of you. Doing all those other things are okay, as long as you are also spending time speaking the language and trying to communicate with others. <laughs> When when you use the words and phrases, phrases you learn to communicate with with other the language becomes more natural for you to learn. Also, you are able to able hear, able able to hear how English speakers answer you so you will know, no. No, now? No, now the language sounds when it is spoken. Very good. Other good tips on learning a new language are to listen to as much of it as you can be spoken by native English speaker. Native, native. Native English speaker. Good, who's next? ¿Quién me falta? ¿Quién no ha leído? Adela, go ahead. 
Turn on the radio. Radio, sing, radio. Radio and sing along to song in English or watch television shows that are spoken English. In English. Wendy, finish it. And try. and try and try to follow along and understand what is what is going going on in the story. The more you immerse yourself in the language, the sooner you can start effective communication with other English speakers. Excellent job. Very good job, my dear readers. Very nice. Okay, now it's time to see if you understood the message. What was the general message of it? ¿Cuál fue el mensaje en general de toda la lectura? We have to practice English. Excellent. How to practice English. What are some tips that are mentioned in the reading? Listen to music and shows on TV. Mm -hmm. um, other things that you have there? They speak in spoken. Right. Speak. To listen to spoken English. Right. Uh -huh. To write. Uh -huh. They speak in the native person. With native speakers, right? To speak with native speakers. Good. How do they describe English? At the beginning. Difficult. 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 And at the end, when you finish the reading, how do you consider English? Mm. <laughs> it's more difficult. <laughs> it's more. It's more Very easy. <laughs> okay. It is easier with practice, right? It's easier with practice. <laughs> more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> good so that is the main idea of this and I wanted to start with this one because in some cases you imagine that English is like hey, the top most difficult thing of everything no English is very uh, you need to dedicate a lot of time if you want to learn so that's why I wanted to finish this last lesson by giving you different tips for you to continue practicing the language, right? Because the only thing that it's going to, to give you a great result is practice, because practice is going to make perfection, right? Practice is going to make perfection, and the more you continue practicing, the more you are going to be learning. So I have a couple of uh, things that I really need you to put into practice at the moment of learning. What is the first one? For the next modules, okay? Estos son consejos que les dejo para sus próximos módulos. Eh, para que sigan aprendiendo siempre. Set a goal. What is the meaning of set a goal? What is the meaning of meta. set a goal? Exactly, right? Que pongan una meta de aprendizaje, right? Set a goal. Mark something that you want to do. Okay, sorry, I made a mistake. There you go. Set a goal, something that you really want to do. What is the purpose of learning English? Y les pregunto a todos, ¿cuál es el propósito que tienen para estar aquí? Wendy, ¿por qué estábamos aprendiendo? I want to learn English. Because I want to learn English. So that's your goal. Jocelyn. I want to learn English. I want to learn English, but why? Why? What is what is the purpose? Um, because it's a new opportunity for me. Excellent, because it's a new opportunity for me. So the that's, other works. Aha, uh -huh, for <laughs> it's for a different job, right? To improve in the job that you have, okay? Yes. Si de repente ahorita están en un nivel del trabajo, pero si aprenden inglés, le dan otro nivel en el trabajo. So that's important. That's why, and that is why setting a goal is very important. That is the first thing. 
Let me see. Vanessa, why are you learning English? Learn English. It's, mm. it's for work, for education, for personal purposes. Uh, for job. For the job. Good, very good. Ivan, what is your goal uh, for English? Because I would like to be a different person. Okay, because I would like to be a different person. You want to improve yeah. yourself. That's With very nice. Knowledge. To get more knowledge. Fantastic. Claudia, why are you learning English? What is your goal? Um, it's a better job. To get a better job. That's good in the future. Fantastic. Adela, why are you learning English? Uh, to improve. To improving the work. Good, very good. And Crisia, why are you learning English? Uh, I have a better job. Okay, you see, to have a better opportunities at the work. That's very good. And that's your goal. So the second thing that we need to do in order to continue practicing is to find a routine. Okay, every day, every day, you have to do something that helps you improve. Okay, si leer por 20, 25 minutos todos los días les ayuda, do it. If listening to songs in English with the lyrics helps you, do it. If watching series in English helps you, do it. But do it as a routine every single day, right? What is the third thing? Make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you continue learning, right? It is necessary, it is important, it is okay to make mistakes. Why? because it is a signal that you are learning. Imagine today you say, nay, and I say, it's name. Hey, I learned something new, okay? Maybe one day you are going to correct another person. And that's the process of learning. Practice a lot. Practice is going to give you a lot of benefits because the more you practice, the more you learn. There are many apps that you can use on the phone every single day. That's a very famous one with the little bird, right? <laughs> to practice English. And it is good, use it, right? If you need more links about apps, ask for them, okay? Si tienen una en específico que les sirve a ustedes, compartanla en el grupo para que nos sirva a todos los demás. The next one, learn phrases. Learning new phrases is going to help you a lot at the moment of learning English because it is going to increase your vocabulary. Practice vocabulary. Do you remember the day that we studied the parts of the house that I sent you a lot of vocabulary and a lot of pictures? So I have a complete book. If you want the book, I can give you the book. And the book contains vocabulary for everything. So if you want it, just tell me, teacher, the link of the book, and I can give it to you. And that's okay. Record yourself. This is a very good way to practice. How do you do it? Okay. Um, haga un grupo en WhatsApp. Ahí con su mamá, con su hermano, con su tío. Y de ahí saque a su tío del grupo para que le quede a usted el chat. Y que puede ser ahí. Grabe notas de voz todos los días en inglés. Contando cómo estuvo su día, qué hizo... ¿Qué fue lo que más le gustó? Lea algo, busque un párrafo en internet y lo lee. But the idea is that you record yourself and that you listen to the audio. Not for you to say, ay, qué linda mi voz, qué chula me oigo. No, but for you to listen to your English, for you to listen to your mistakes. And then if you say, no, 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 uy, qué feo me salió. Lo voy a volver a leer, lo voy a volver a hacer. And then keep all the voice notes there. Ahí puede ser una colección gigante de voice notes for you to practice your English. Or if you have a very good friend that you can practice with, you can send voice notes to each other in English. Read new words and phrases. Always find new vocabulary. Find new phrases to learn. Read about things that you like in English. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ivan, what, are, what is something that you really like, that you really love? That you are passionate about. Listen to music. Music, right? Yeah. So read about things 
of music, right? Read about artists, read about new songs, new things in English about music. Adela, what is something that you really like? Hey, I, I cannot listen to you. Fue un misterio lo que nos dijo Adela. Es que me está fallando esto. It's okay, it's okay. Watch TV? Uh, about TV, about TV shows. So watch series in English, right? Read the subtitles in English, right? But things about the things that you like. If you love things about food, read about food. If you love things about celebrities, read about celebrities. If you love things about fashion, read about this, but in English, read about things that you like. Message people in English. Hey, hello, good morning. How are you friends and everything? Do it, right? Do it. Watch movies in English with the subtitles in English. But not the movie that you know by heart, right? No es aquella vio 80 veces y ya sabe los diálogos sin estar viendo la película. So I am not talking about Shrek. That I Titanic. know it by heart. Titanic, right? Watch new movies in English with subtitles. Use a dictionary. It's always necessary. Okay? And listen to the pronunciation of words. If you don't know one word, go to the internet. How do you pronounce this? And you are going to get even the pronunciation of the word. So those are a couple of recommendations that I have for you. But what is the best recommendation that I can give you? Practice. Continue being responsible and continue doing your best effort. Okay? I am very proud of this group. And... I really want to see you in advance, okay? Allá lo puedo estar esperando en avanzado uno, okay? So have a beautiful Next night. Next module, not. I don't, I don't know. I don't think um, so, but if it is like that, fantastic. For me, uh, very happy, <laughs> right? <laughs> but if not, I want you to continue being very responsible, okay? Me siento como esas mamás. Así es responsable como fueron conmigo, así van a ser el otro módulo, okay? So continue doing your best effort. It has been such a pleasure for me to work with you and continue learning. Remember, I am at your service. If you need something, if you need help, continue. Uh, you can contact me. You can tell me, teacher, I need help with this. And for sure, I am going to help you, okay? Thank you. Thank you for being here, for being responsible and for all the classes that I enjoy, every single class of them, okay? A Thank big you, clap teacher. for all of Thank you. you Have a beautiful you, night. Thank you very much. Okay. And I am Good going night. to see you there, okay? You are a great teacher. Thank you. Really? Because, because you are very good students. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay. Thank you very nice, much. Nice. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you. It was a Thank pleasure you. to meet you. And I am here to serve you whenever you need it. Have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you in the next module, hopefully. If not, I am going to be waiting in advance, okay? Y allá lo voy a estar esperando para darles el diploma cuando se gradúen de todo. Hoy, hoy fue la graduación. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Have a beautiful Thank night. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.